Let's discuss another unusual discovery that currently has no explanation. A discovery made inside this very beautiful and somewhat dense cluster known as NGC 1851, a relatively famous global cluster located approximately 54,000 light years away from the galactic center. In other words, it's not exactly inside our galaxy, but it does belong to the Milky Way. A cluster that's actually known for one of the highest densities of stars right in its center. But it seems to contain stars with the average age of about 9.2 billion years old. Basically suggesting that this is a relatively ancient object that existed around the Milky Way, possibly from some of the earliest times when the galaxy was still forming. And it also contains a kind of a tail, very likely the leftovers from the ancient dwarf galaxy to which this cluster belonged. One of the studies in the description describes this unusual tail in more detail. But just like with other clusters, here scientists have also discovered pulsars, fast spinning neutron stars that project to jets pulsating at regular intervals. Now because this cluster is so far away from anything else, and because it contains such a dense environment of stars and a lot of other objects, it's usually relatively easy to study this simply because any detection from this region usually means it's coming from the cluster. And so completely by accident, extremely recently, the researchers using the Meerkat telescope in South Africa discovered something else inside the cluster. Another pulsar. Okay, that by itself is not unusual. But what is unusual are the measurements coming from the pulsar. Normally, pulsars are known for their extreme periodicity, and they're actually so accurate sometimes that researchers even proposed using them as something that's even more accurate than the atomic clock. And since their pulsations are so predictable, any kind of a deviation means that something around the pulsar is probably causing it to wobble or change just a little bit. This technique is known as the pulsar timing array, and it's actually used to study quite a lot of different phenomena. One of the previous videos in the description describes using several pulsars in the Milky Way to discover something incredible about the universe. The universe seems to be vibrating. But here they discovered something else around this pulsar. Pulsar known as PSR J0514-4002E. E because this is not the first pulsar, with other ones having different letters. And this pulsar spins really fast, 170 times per second. And so any kind of a deviation becomes very apparent very quickly. And so by listening to radio frequencies coming from this pulsar and by looking at anomalies, they discovered a tiny wobble or tiny deviations from the expected pattern. And that actually allowed the scientists to calculate a lot of parameters. First of all, the exact distance, the mass of the pulsar, the mass of the entire system, and if anything else is orbiting the pulsar. But also a system that seems to have tiny variations every 7.44 days. And that basically implied that there is a partner and a main neutron star, which basically suggested that this is a binary system, a system with a total mass of approximately 3.9 solar masses, a somewhat unusual mass. But because here they were able to calculate the mass of the neutron star directly, they were able to subtract the mass of the neutron star from the total mass, with the conclusion being that the second object seems to be kind of unusual and somewhat mysterious way too massive to be a white dwarf, yet clearly a separate object. A massive, compact object with a total mass of possibly 2.6 to 2.8 solar masses. But not a star. It's too dim, it's invisible in most frequencies. And that leaves us with maybe two options. Another neutron star or a black hole. But both options in this case are difficult to explain because of the mass. To date, the most massive neutron star ever found was this one right here. Actually, another pulsar, PSR J0952-0607. It's just under 2.4 solar masses. And it's also spinning even faster, 707 times per second. But even at this mass, it's almost impossible to explain how it formed. This mass is essentially almost beyond the physical limit. It's known as the TOV limit or tolman oppenheimer volkov limit, and it's the theoretical limit where neutron stars should no longer be able to support themselves and very likely either explode or collapse into black holes. Below this limit, neutron stars still can support themselves through a quantum process of neutron degeneracy, which basically pushes things from the outside, preventing things from collapsing. But once there is enough mass, it's no longer able to do so and should collapse, possibly exploding in the process or possibly maybe becoming a black hole or something else. It's never been physically seen, so we don't actually know what happens. But intriguingly, not so long ago, gravitational wave detectors did actually find something a little bit more unusual. 
a collision between two neutron stars that produced something that's about 2.6 solar masses. It wasn't clear what the result was, but the data from this merger was pretty clear. It was an actual object. But what sort of an object is, of course, the question nobody can answer. And it's very likely somewhat similar to what was just discovered here as well. A result of some kind of a previous merger, possibly between two neutron stars, or a neutron star and a star, that created an object in what's known as the lower mass gap. Basically, a kind of a gap when it comes to black holes and neutron stars, where the objects seem to not exist. So, for example, for black holes, we haven't really found a lot of black holes below the total mass of 5 solar masses. There are plenty of black holes that are more massive, 5, 6, 7, and so on. But to date, only one other object has been discovered that seems to have the mass of maybe 3.8 solar masses. This paper from 2019 talks about this in more detail, but even here it's kind of unknown exactly what this is. And so even though we kind of have an idea of how these objects can form, we have no idea what the result is. Is this the lightest black hole or the most massive neutron star? And if it's a neutron star, why is it not collapsing or exploding? Now we know that a fast spinning neutron star can possibly survive for a pretty long time, even if it's more massive, but when there's a partner, most spinning neutron stars do not spin very fast for a very long time and eventually slow down. And so whatever is happening here is a bit of a mystery. It's most likely a result of a merger of neutron star from previous collisions and is obviously now orbiting another neutron star that's acting as a pulsar, but with a potential mass of 2.76 solar masses, it is currently unknown what it is. Although here the mass could be as low as 2.1 solar masses, so technically it could be just a very massive neutron star. But the exact nature of this object is going to be unknown for quite some time. Mostly because we just don't have any means right now to physically determine what it is. Either way, because this is such a compact system and very likely produces gravitational waves, this is going to be a really important system for scientists studying gravity and cosmologists trying to understand what exactly is happening in the universe and what the nature of gravity is to begin with. And that's because by studying the interaction between these two compact objects and seeing the effects they produce, it becomes possible to study everything else, including the nature of the fundamental forces. Or at the moment, there is really more mysteries than answers. For example, since there is no light coming from this, not even x-rays, yet this object is definitely massive and very likely very compact, it means that this object joins a very short list of these unusual compact massive objects that are technically in the mass gap. They really should not exist or their existence is unexplained, yet they are out there. And so for all we know, we might have discovered a completely new type of an object we never knew existed. Something between a neutron star and a black hole and something that maybe has an explanation already. Could this be a quark star or maybe some kind of a dark matter star, also known as the boson star? You can learn about these in some of the videos in the description, but for all we know, since there is no other explanation for exactly what these are, these unusual anomalies and these really massive objects could actually lead us to new explanations about the nature of the universe. But I guess, at least for now, we don't really have any answers. It's just a really cool new discovery, something you can read more about in the study in the description. And so until future answers or until some explanations, thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.